Hey right, YouTube, uh, as you can tell in the descriptions, I'm going to show you guys how to modify a uh, APC unit, UPS. Uh, I've got two units here. I got this idea from a, I can't really say the name, the YouTube channel, but I'll list it right here, Kamar24. He did a series on these uh, types of inverters. I've got the same inverters except for mine is a uh, case mount, a little bit you know, taller ones. His was a rack mount. So I'm basically going to be doing the exact same thing, showing you the same video, showing you pretty much the same steps. I'm going to try to go just as much in depth as he has from watching me take the unit apart, putting the components in, programming it, where you can find the, uh, the software, things like that for these units. Most of you guys, if you already have an APC unit, you should already have a monitoring software that came with it, so you can use that. Um, what I'm going to be using to program it so it will accept 1500 watts. You can just use any um, hyper terminal, terminal and get you an APC plug that plugs into it. It goes into the RS-232 port right here. All, right, all the units have those. You can't program it through the USB port because that's not a comm link. Um, but you will have to go through the RS-232 on the um, inverters. So we will show you guys how to update these, upgrade these from wiring, because right now the wiring is inadequate for these, they're only 10 gauge, we need to upgrade, update those to either a 8 or maybe a 6 gauge, 6 gauge would be better. So we're going to try to see if we can't get 6 gauge, I have 6 gauge wiring, so we're going to have to make some modifications to the board and everything else to accept the 6 gauge wire. I have 8 gauge, but the wire I have now is uh, basically residential wiring. So it's not flexible enough, so you really wouldn't want to use that. Uh, so far everything works, so continue watching. I'll show you how after the modifications and what I've done. So what I'm doing, I'm showing you after I've mod modded this unit, what it can do and what it can power. Then right after that, I'll show you some of the videos of me taking it apart. So this is going to be a series. So today all you get to do is see... The, you're basically seeing the end result before you see the operation done and then I'll show you guys on how this is done and then we'll do a lot of testing run times see how long it'll last see how hot it'll get things like that so keep watching but as you can tell I've got two APC units sitting here I've got one that's already got the cover off and I have one with the cover on alright what we're going to be doing here we're going to increase the output power alright if you look at these all right, these are 1500 VAs, and if you see the 1500 VA model there, 1500 model, that's what this is. This is a smart UPS. 980 watts is what these are capable of. All right, and that's what these are listed as, 980s. 980 watts for both of these. All right, right now I've got this one running. As you can tell, it's on. I'll show you the front. It's not plugged in anywhere. Let me grab these cords. So you don't think it's plugged in anywhere. Alright. Here's the cord to that one. I'm going to set it right here. So it don't fall down. And here's the cord to this one. Neither one of these are plugged in to anything. Alright. Neither one are plugged in. i got both cords right there. All right, what we're going to run, since this is 980 watts, anything over 980, the this should automatically shut down. Right now, I was just showing my batteries are at 2%. All right, and right now we have no resistive loads on there. So what we're going to do is we have a 1500 watt heater here that we're going to try. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put the first setting on. And you'll hear the whole thing bog down a little bit. You hear it there? All right, now she is transmitting. She's producing power. All right, here's a kilowatt meter. All right, we are now pulling 860 watts through it. Okay, and it's plugged into there. All right, we're going to turn it on to the next one. It's a total of 1,500 watts. There we go, pulling 1,500 watts through there. Okay, guys. 1500 watts total well actually 1487 but hey close to 1500 watts all right we're going to shut her back down 
so as you can tell I was able to get this to run well past the 980 watts that it's uh, rated at alright all right, let's shut this system down. So now we're switched over to the other APC unit. All right, and you've noticed I've already made the mod to this one where the plug's in the back. I'll do the same thing on that one because I've got an 800-watt one over there that's already was made this way with the plug in the back. So basically copied that and put it on this one. And we're also going to modify that, see if we can get that well over 800 watts. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get this one turned on, see if we can see how far it can push before she shuts down. Okay, and she's now on. <clears throat> Alright, she's pushing 119 volts. You can see it hurts, 60 hertz. Watts right now we're pulling 30 39 40 watts. We got some other things plugged in like the TV and stuff. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn the first part of the inverter on. Alright, we're pulling 857 watts. Actually, here you go. And you can tell it's right now full bar saying it's full using all of the power off of it. So this is what we're gonna do. And this is getting warm. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up to 980. Here in a second, you'll see it turn off. There it goes, it turned off. It overloaded, because that's well over 1500 watts, but we're gonna show you that. So we're gonna go ahead and shut her down. I'm gonna shut this off. Turn it back on. Okay, she's back on. And we're gonna show it, did, it did pull the 1500 watts for a little bit before she shut down. Okay, there you go. She's pulling 1500 watts as you can tell right before she shuts down. So it will pull it. So, why is it I'm pulling 1500 watts out of this continuously without it shutting down? And that one, all right. I will show you in upcoming videos on what I've done to this here unit to make this a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter compared to this one. This is only 980 watt continuous pure sine wave inverter. So the only difference is is some modifications made to this one that I have not made to this one. And in these upcoming videos we're going to be making the modifications to this and also we had to hack this so it will read 1500 watts instead of 980. And I'll show you guys how to do that, the factory uh, settings in here for that. But other than that, I will add to this video at the end exactly explaining to you exactly what I'm doing to this one right here. Okay, it will be in this video. So, watch that. It's next, and I'll talk to you more what's going on, and I will show you exactly all, everything I did to make this run more efficient than that unit there. Uh, the other updates that need to be made on this unit here is these little bitty wires are not made to handle 1500 watts. All right, these are only 30 amp. These 10 gauge wires, that's what comes with the unit. Uh, 980 at full load would pull almost 35, 40 amps through here, depending on what the voltage of the batteries are. When the battery voltage drops, more current's going to be pulled out to get the voltage up to 120 and they can get up to about 40 amps through these wires and these are only rated at 30 so they will work fine for just at 980 but we're gonna almost double that output so we're gonna update these wires to maybe an 8 gauge wire or even better so we can run a continuous load at that all right something else I want to show you guys is I'm gonna put a load of 850 on here all right, by turning just this one on, on the heater. All right, and you'll see the watch wattage climb. There you go, 850 watts. That's on this APC unit right now. And I'm gonna show you something else real quick. And I, I've showed you this already, but as you notice, the bars are fully lit all the way to the top, okay? 
Now we're going to switch back over to this unit and I'm going to show you what those bars do on this unit. Alright, turn the heater back on. Alright, and there you guys go. Alright, as you can tell, this one's pulling the same wattage. But you look at the meter on the front, it's showing about halfway being used. That's the difference between these two units. This actually is going to be showing the 1500 watts, whereas right now that in there shows, you know, the bar for the 980. Right. Hello YouTube, you're probably wondering, hey, what's this on my table? Well, I got a project I'm working on. I've seen a guy on YouTube do this with a couple rack mounts, and I've got the tower mounts. These are uh, the 1500 VA um, inverters. They're APC units, battery backup. Here, I'll show you the front here. Alright, All right, here's one here. I, I traded Richard Downer for two of these for uh, two grid ties. And this is what I got from him. If you can see, it's a smart UPS 1500 APC unit. They all work. This one does work too. But I got it apart right now because I'm going to do some uh, modifications to it. Uh, on the board, here you see the heat sinks here. Alright, there's four sets. This is an H bridge. Um, setup right now it has two transistors on each set of the heat sinks and they're ran in parallel except for the gates are in uh, you know they're individually uh, controlled and as you can see here on the board there's room for one two more MOSFETs or those ain't MOSFET they're transistors per stage alright and there's four stages there and so what we're gonna do is we're going to populate those so I got to get eight more of these transistors which I've already looked up the part number off these transistor on Mauser and that's where I ordered them from I ordered 16 of these things here we might be able to get, get this camera to focus in on it if I can quit bouncing around here alright okay, those are the transistors I just ordered on a Mauser ordered a total of 16 of them Okay, because I'm going to update this unit, and I'm also going to update the unit that's currently being used over here. There we go. So I'm going to also update that unit. And what we can do is take this from 980 watts and get 1500 watts out of it. So that's our goal. Uh, we're going to change the wiring on here right now. This is only 10 gauge wire. That's too thin. That's only 30 amps that this is rated at. Uh, even at 980, they're pulling... 40 amps are here but you know that's only for a little while so that wire can handle that you know but we're going to update this to 8 gauge wire um, these two middle sink heat sinks here that's your positive so what we're going to try to do is see if I can't take one of these heat sinks flip it around so I can put the positive lead on one of those alright and these are the outputs that's where you, um, that goes into the transformer so these are the two output leads so and we're going to put a small heat sink sitting on top of the transformer see if we can't get more heat off that this transformer will handle the 1500 watts so that won't be too bad everything else on the output like the uh, relays are rated at 16 amps so that should be fine for the AC side so that'd be just fine uh, there's a little current sensing transformer right there um, right now in the software that's on here that's sent, you know set up to sense as for 980 watts being your maximum output if you go over that the system will shut down so I have to get a hold of some software where I can go in there and tweak that to where this can now read up to 1500 watts so this is just a uh, video of what is being planned I've already got everything taken apart here it was all put together uh, as I was taking apart I messed up this uh, small transistor which is I've got one of those on order as well. I don't know how I did it, but somehow I broke the leg right there, right off of it somehow. So I got another one of those also on order so I can replace that as I do this uh, modification. And as I do this modification, I'll walk you guys through it so you guys can see it. Because, hey, this is a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter that can be used. So, Alright, YouTube. Well, that, as you can see, this concludes the uh, this portion of the video. Um, my next video I'll show you other components that I did not mention in the last video, i.e. the uh, resistors that had to be reordered. They're little bitty tiny surface mount resistors and also four little tiny caps. I probably didn't need those tiny caps, but I went ahead and ordered those anyhow, and I populated all those uh, 
unpopulated areas and along with the resistors the, the guy that I got the idea off he just bridged the gap on the resistors with a little bit of solder whereas I went ahead and ordered the 20 ohm resistors so this concludes this video thank you for watching YouTube and please comment like subscribe so you can continue watching when I show you guys how to uh, modify that unit to be exactly like this one thank you for watching